Hi friends. What if I told you that every day an invisible war rages around you? It is unseen, it is unheard, but it's felt in every aspect of your life. A devoted and evil enemy seeks to destroy everything that matters. Your heart, your mind, your relationships, your attitude, your dreams, your destiny. But what if I also told you that the enemy's battle plan hinges on catching you off guard? It stinks to think that an enemy's after us, but <laughs> I can also tell you that all you need to do in order to fight and defeat that enemy is use what already belongs to you. <laughs> Everything you need is yours, free, ready for you to use. Well, actually, to wear. Now that's some good news. Listen to this verse, all right? It's three verses from Ephesians chapter six, verses 10 through 13. It's kind of long, but tune in, all right? Listen, this is good stuff. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand. Ooh, I'm going to give you chills. I mean, God is so good. It just makes you want to happy dance. He has armor. And I can wear it. <laughs> and so can you. I mean, where do we sign up for this? Like, how do we get this done? Because... It sounds so amazing, and it's exactly what I need, some protection. We're going to spend several weeks talking about this armor, which includes the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the peace sandals, a shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and a completely awesome, righteous sword of the Spirit. Now, I heard about all these pieces of armor as a child, and I memorized each piece, but I was a grown-up before I learned what it really means to suit up in the armor every day, and I still <laughs> don't get this right a lot of the time, but it is mine. When I choose to, to use it and to put it on, it is mine, and it has never failed me. I have gone through some hard stuff. And several years ago, um, I had just reached that point. I mean, so, so tired of being caught by surprise. It's like Satan would attack. It was like, oh, you know, I was constantly caught off guard. And my Bible study group, um, read a book by Priscilla Shire and, uh, it was called The Armor of God and it dives deep, deep into this scripture. And for the first time, I understood what it meant to wake up and put on the armor on purpose and to face each day battle ready. I want to give this author, Priscilla Shire, some credit because some of what you'll hear me say and share are things that her writings helped me to understand. And I am so, so excited to dig into this scripture. I love it and I definitely need the refresher. Now in the Kingdom Kids packet that you can pick up each Sunday from 5 to 6.30 p.m. at the church, you will find some activities geared toward helping us understand what each piece of God's armor means and how you can wear and activate it in your daily life. And there will also be a prayer that your family can use each week to invite that Holy Spirit to empower us to walk like champions with Christ every day. Let's pray now. Dear God, 
Thank you for the verses in Ephesians 6 that let me know because you are strong, I am strong. Help me to understand this scripture and use it to encourage and strengthen our family. We won't be caught off guard. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>